Hey everybody, welcome to the show. My name's Wes. I'm working on a a painting in acrylic paints. Um, this is going to be an old uh, clapboard house. As far as I know, that's the clapboard is the the type of siding that it has. And it just has this distinctive look to it. Um, this one was actually the reference photo was uh, was kind of a uh, a homemade model of some kind of a model house like is that somebody made out of you know it was maybe a foot tall I'll show a picture of it here it was just to get the general shape not the color or setting you know no landscape to it but um just something to go off of for the architecture Um, as you as you see the background like the canvas is already covered in paint uh, from a previous painting uh, not all my paintings turn out to be successes and if it doesn't uh, there's the option of painting over it and making something new out of it and that happens quite a bit I guess not often but uh, every once in a while Just imagined a tree on the side there, so I'm kind of adding a bit of that. And just using white paint, you know, as this kind of way to sketch it out where everything's going to go because it shows up well in the darker background. As I went there, I realized that keeping those those horizontal lines of the of the clapboard is probably uh, a good idea because some of that I may want to keep for the final painting, or else at least let it contribute to the to the feel of the end result. And it turns out some of those did remain at the end. Um, a lot of times with these paintings I have a, an inkling of an idea of the of the type of painting that I'm going for um, but not the full picture and I usually let the painting itself kind of dictate how far along I'll take it. Uh, so sometimes I'll end up really liking this more abstracted uh, sketchy you know early painting and I'll end up ending the painting sooner than I than I would for a more finished look um, that's what kind of ha happened to this one um, ended up not taking too long I just like the the sketchy loose feel of it so I just kind of I think I and I think it was just three sessions you know letting the paint dry in between um, I pretty much had the painting finished once I added the blue of the sky I kind of realized I liked that that simple you know look that it has having the dark background helped because as you can see I didn't have to paint in the roof for instance, but it's that nice uh, dark purplish, you know, color. And that kind of helps immediately, helps me to immediately visualize what it looks like with, uh, you know, a dark roof. And, and I can always change that, which I will be soon. Kind of going back through now and Redefining the windows and putting in these poles. 
in the front. Holding up the porch roof. I debated keeping the kind of the wonky angles of the house the way in that front part there the way the the sides kind of weren't straight vertical but I, I you know I ended up correcting that a bit it's still you know very loose and and a rough rendering. And here I'm just going back through with the kind of the red, you know, rusty look of the of the roof, adding those lines to give it that texture. I think it was the blue of the sky that kind of made me want to go back in with the red. Um, just to kind of give it that primary color, primitive abstract look. It's, uh, uh we're in the second week of, uh, February in 2000, uh, uh, 2020, <laughs> 2020. And I'm only just now getting kind of into the swing of things as far as painting goes. Um, every winter when it gets cold, I, I tend to turn into a hibernating bear of some kind. And <laughs> don't come out until it starts to warm up again. It hasn't been very cold this winter, but we live in Louisiana, so it's pretty mild. But even still, it... it it just makes me not motivated to paint, and so I've just been, I've had a cold, a cold and a cough for quite a while, and uh, I just, just get out of the habit of painting, so I'm kind of getting back into it finally, and uh, this is one of the, one of the first ones that I was happy with. One thing I really kind of want to get back into doing is uh is drawing and doing more keeping up a you know kind of a sketchbook so i'll hopefully put some more of those uh, videos and photos on my instagram of that speaking of which if you are interested in 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 painting and in seeing uh photos of uh paintings in the process of being painted Check out my Instagram if you have Instagram. Uh, it's Wes Foreman, two S's. And yeah, I think it's a. Instagram's pretty fun. It, it makes it easy to quickly post something um, that you're working on or that you see or find interesting. So I try to post on there pretty regularly. That's my, my most regular social media outlet. YouTube is very fun too. I like the doing these videos. I just find it it's it's difficult to keep up with though uh, on a regular basis. I, I'll I'll try to do it a bit more here in the new year, but uh, yeah, no promises. <laughs> I'm using a China marker here. This is a wax pencil that I often use just to add some smaller details. That if I like it, I keep. If I don't, I, I paint back over. And this one, I ended up keeping it a lot of it because I like that look of the uh, of the horizontal uh, woodwork there on the siding. At this point, I'm really liking the look of the painting. I just wanted to kind of mess it up a little bit more. This is why I'm adding these little dots of color and 
Then as I do that, I see other things I could fix a little bit here and there. But for the most part, this is the this is the look that the painting is kind of going toward, you know. <laughs> it's been a while since I've uh, painted in a more realistic or naturalistic way. I should probably try that out just to make sure I can still do it. But <laughs> I, I get that I I get a little more naturalistic looking when I uh, paint commissions. Uh, for instance, my dog paintings and pet paintings in general tend to be a little more, you know, sticking with the photograph, just for that re just for the reason of being it's uh, a commission that someone's uh, ordered for their their pet, their loved one. So it kind of makes sense in my mind to make it a little more realistic. This painting, by the video, by the way, is uh, sped up slightly. It's, uh, I think, two times the speed, which is in this world of social media where everybody posts their best stuff and makes themselves look good. This kind of makes me look a little, you know, better than I am as well, because <laughs> it, you know, it, it looks like I'm extra confident in everything I'm doing, but it's just because it's going a little faster. Don't be fooled. Not to mention all the the times that, you know, I'm sitting thinking about it and trying to figure out what to do next with a painting. None of that sticks to the film. I mean, it stays in the film. And I apologize for calling it a film. It's just a YouTube video. This is kind of the boring part because not a lot is happening. I'm just kind of sharpening things up here and there, wherever I, wherever I think it might need it. This is the kind of stage where I employ little tricks. If I if a painting isn't working, like um, one is just a you know, play with the color, um, get the color balance right. Sometimes adding complement of colors uh, will help in that regard. Like, uh, you know, if I have a lot of red on the painting, I might want to think about adding some green somewhere, even subtly, maybe in the shadows, that kind of thing. Um, another thing would be to add more gray to the painting, more neutral colors. That tends to, if, you know, colors are colliding and not working well together, sometimes adding grays will uh, help in that regard. And then just, you know, like I said, cleaning up and sharpening things. Sometimes you really have to kind of bear down with that china marker to get it to make a nice solid mark. Even still, it ends up looking, you know, a bit like a charcoal or or even crayon look if it's too light. You know, I've tentatively tried out a bit of a lighter blue on the roof, but it didn't look as well, so it kind of muted it, muted the color a bit. Although I do like the, you know, the bit, the, the differences in color on the roof. I'm not sticking with one color, but having some oranges and reds, a bit of blue. And then I noticed that red really snapped, made it snappier, made the whole thing kind of a little more energetic.
And with that, I'd just like to say thanks for watching. Keep a lookout for more videos in the future. Subscribe to the channel if you would like. And thanks for watching.